10 and a half years in the Marines. I joined at a very young age, at 16 and a half. The stigma of mental health has been swept under the carpet for far, far too long. More people have committed suicide than actually died in the conflict. There, there was something seriously wrong. I, I was drinking quite heavily. I, I was uh, quite aggressive. I became very, very fixated on things. On New Year's Eve, I was going to wave goodbye to 2018, have a glass of champagne, and that's it, all done. I was watching the television and the room became darker and darker and darker. I started to feel really, really depressed. I got on social media and I said, I'm Billy No Mates, I'm off to bed, happy new year everyone, and then switched my phone off. I went straight to bed and I had an absolutely appalling night and I just had this overwhelming desire to kill myself. I got through the night and in the morning I switched my phone back on and I had 128 messages on my phone with people saying, are you all right? And that persuaded me then that I needed help. I was always worried that I was on my own and nobody cared, thankfully, because of this organisation. We're edging towards the light and, and the help will be given to these people. That's why I'm here today. I was given the opportunity to come to Israel to take part in these mm -hmm. games. I thought it would be nice to have the opportunity to see mm -hmm. how other people have dealt with complex issues of post-traumatic stress and depression. My personal challenge at the Games will be to finish. As long as I get the opportunity not to embarrass myself too much, I, I think I'll be very pleased. Meeting other veterans has been amazing. We have all common shared interests. It's been fantastic to see how the Israelis help their veterans compared to the way it's in the UK. An amazing country, amazing people, and I hope I get the opportunity to come back.